Hello everyone. So this is the famous two sum problem that is asked in number of companies like Amazon, Google and Facebook and the list goes on. Okay. So the main motto of this video is that I'll tell you how to visualize the solutions. Okay. And we will use almost two to three techniques to actually solve this problem. And I'll also let you know the variations that can be asked in the uh, interviews. So let's try to understand that how you can use the JS APIs, okay, in the JS language, how you can use various mechanisms like sorting, hashing, and looping to actually approach this problem, okay. So the problem is to sum, okay, and as an input, you are given an array of integers, okay. Now you are told to find two numbers from this array, okay, which can result to a target sum. So you are also given a target. So there are two inputs, one is the array and one is the target find two numbers so that when you add these two numbers together, the target is achieved. Okay, now let's think from a very naive perspective to solve this problem. And to actually visualize this, I have a very good example to show to you. So I just go randomly and just pick up the first element from this array in my hand. Now I tell my friend, okay, let's say Raj, okay. My friend Raj, I told him that, hey, you go and run from the second element of the array because first one I have already, you go and search till the end of the array, okay? If you find any element, okay, which when summed with the number I am holding, okay, can result in a, in a target or not. So this is the job I give him. I have the first element, he goes and looks at each element of the array, okay, and sees if when sum is target or not. So what is operation he is doing? He will in worst case run till the end of the array and not find anything, correct? Now, if you don't find anything, it doesn't mean that you just end the program. Now I will say, okay, maybe with my pairing, you can't find a number. Maybe let me change the number as well. Now I go and pick up the second element. And I told him that, hey, now you run in the rest of the array ahead of me and do the same operation. Let's say we can find a sum or not. So he does the same thing again. And worst case, he doesn't find it again. So I keep repeating this. Okay, now I jump to the third number and I told him that, hey, now you run ahead of the array from the third number. So what I'm trying to do is find literally I'm comparing all the pairs of numbers that is possible and just summing them up and trying to see if I'm achieving the target sum or not, correct? So this is the worst way or you can say uh, the very naive way to solve the problem. But what does this mean, right? Now just replace the name of me with a I and replace the name of Raj as J. Now you have the nested loops okay i am the outer loop and raj or j is the inner loop so that's basically the uh, nested loop i and j way to solve the problem correct so outer loop will run from zero at to the end of the array and the inner loop will run from the next element okay from where i is and we will see and submit this problem we'll quickly code this and then move to another solution which i think is better than this so let's first try to code this out So as you see, I hope you understood the problem well. Uh, so we have a function that is a two sum and it gives me the numbers array and the target. Now I know that I need to create two loops that is one for me and one for Raj, I and J. I just create a two loop. This is a way to write any loop in JavaScript, right? So I go and run this entire outer loop till length of the array, okay? And from where Raj will run, Raj will run from wherever I am, the next step, correct? He will take the next step. So he will run from, so I, as I told you, let's assume his name to be J, okay? And I just uh, take this value to be I plus one because he is gonna run from the next element till the end of the array again. So this is it. This is the most simplest solution that you can think of. And we will try to adjust the space and time complexity as well. So what we need to actually check at every step, Raj sum and my Raj's element and my element needs to add needs to be added together and checked with the sum. So I just check if num of i plus it's nums yeah. So num of i plus num of j is equal to equal to target correct. Then I just need to return whatever the question asks right. So I know that I need to return the indexes correct. So I need to just return an array. I believe, yeah, the array which contains i and j. So I'm expecting that this should run properly. 
right. You can also submit it to see all of your cases run properly or not. So as you see, it has been expect, uh, accepted, but the time complexity of it, as you can imagine, when I was holding one number, Raj was running till n minus one, correct? When I was holding the second number, Raj was running n minus two times. So effectively, this comparison will happen each time Raj reaches a number. So the first time Raj runs, he will compare n minus one times. Then second time when he runs, he will compare this or he'll do this operation n minus two times. So n minus one plus n minus two plus n minus three till we just end up with one element. So one to n minus one plus two plus three till n minus one sum you have to do and that will actually result in a n square uh, time complexity. So I hope you understood. Now, what's the another best thing that we can do in this problem? So think about uh, this case that whether you can use or utilize some extra space to bring the time complexity down, correct? So think about this case where you are able to store all the elements somewhere, okay? Just store all these elements in a way that you are able to access it, okay, later, okay, or find its presence in, in some data structure in O of one time. As you can think of it, you will have to either use a has map, okay, or just use a JavaScript object, okay, to store that information. So remember what you need to do. You have, you just iterate through one, uh, the entire array, store all the elements and their indexes in some has map or an object. Now, second time when you run from start to the end of the array, what we just need to do is, let's say you reach the first element one, now you just need to check that whether the sum minus this one exists in that has map or not, okay? So if it exists, you know that there are two numbers, okay, which are resulting in the sum, okay? So you are just searching now the difference between the target and the current element in that has map. Because has map consists the element of the same array, you are indirectly proving that the sum of these two is resulting in the target. So let's try to visualize this and code this out. So remember that we will try to store some map as a object initially, okay? So this is our second solution, okay? Now, how my map will look like is something we should see. If your array is let's say two, four, five, one, okay? Then, you need your map, so you will go and iterate the entire array and you will probably store something like this. You store the number, okay, so your map will look something like this, the number and the index at which the number exists. So it really depends, right? What if your question asks the index to return? So we need to really store, we can't really mess that up. So let's store entire information that can be asked in this question. So index at which this number is stored, okay? So as you know, the resultant map would look like this, two, zero, four, one, five, two, and one, three. So two is the number and zeroth is the index in which it is present. Four is the number and one is the index, similarly others. So now, what we really need to do, correct? So now we need to check So I hope you understood what we are trying to do. So let's try to code this out after commenting this. So we will use the same structure, just replace the entire array. Okay, uh, this. All right, so let's go and... Uh, so our first job is to, step one is to go and iterate the array and store everything in the map with its indexes. How to really do that is this. So for let i is equal to zero is just a normal uh, looping. So we will do i less than nums dot length, okay? And i plus plus. So now what we need to do is we need to go and store in the map, correct? So let's assume that we have a map which is empty initially, okay? Now we need to fill this. So map would be nums of i, we are storing the number, okay, and the value of that key would be the index itself. So this actually builds my entire object, okay, with number and its index as the value. Now, now we know that we need to again loop through this, okay, 
and we just need to find the difference in this map okay wherever we reach we just need to find a difference so our current element okay current element would be nums of i okay now i just need to check whether the map consists of target minus current as a key or not okay so if it exists if it's not equal to undefined okay okay it means that this number exists and we know that at this moment we need to return an answer because we have just found that uh, and what will be the two numbers the two numbers will be current and target minus current but we know that here we need to return the indexes so we return this i okay the first uh, the, the index of the first element and the index of the second element would be this itself correct because we have stored the index in the object itself so we just return this now is there any case that we are missing let's quickly check it uh, i hope not we can try to run this and debug if, if there's anything left so we comment the first solution and we just run this okay let's see so the output was zero and zero it's there's definitely something that we are missing all right so the main problem with this is that so let's take this case which is failing correct so we need to just add one condition to fix it so my solution results if your sum is six my my solution is actually returning that okay three plus three is six right but you can't use the same element this question needs to return two different elements okay so i need to not compare the same object okay uh, the, the same element okay which my uh, current element is so i just add a condition that okay my index of the current element and the number which i'm i just found in the map has to be different okay so if that number exists right it shouldn't be existing at the same index basically so i just go and take out this index and it shouldn't be equal to the current index i hope this should be fine here we go so i hope you understood what case i fixed over here there right. is another variation of the same problem where your input array is given a sorted array okay so here's a very important information that you need to use let's assume an array called as 2 3 and 4 okay now you need to find two elements okay such that such that the sum is 3 for example now i hold the first element as 2 and i told raj that hey you go and run in the array and find 1 because 2 plus 1 will be 3 correct so he goes and search searches for this one okay but he sees that okay the second element is itself three okay but he is let's say that guy is down then he will just keep on running okay but since the array is sorted he doesn't need to run more because he will only find the larger sum than three correct because if two plus this second element is not three it's very likely it's definitely that all the elements we'll find will not be an answer because the sum will just keep on increasing than three because we need to achieve the sum of three this is why o of n square is a bad solution for a sorted array okay so you can do better in this case so obviously you will find the uh, answer okay even if you do a nested loop but you, we can do better and how we will do better this time i will stand in the left of the array okay and raj will stand in the end of the array okay now what we will do i'll shout to raj that hey can you see what element you are holding and what i am holding is the sum of these two elements same as the target okay so for an example, he is standing on five and I'm standing on one and we are searching for a sum of what? Three, correct? Now one and five, it's six, correct? This six sum is greater than the target which we are searching for. So now I know that I don't need to move to the left because now the sum will likely increase, correct? Because if our sum is already larger than what we are trying to achieve, if I move to the right, okay, the array is increasing, correct? Our sum will just keep on increasing. I will never end up in the in the target sum. So I told Raj that, hey, you know what? Our sum is greater than the target. So why not you move towards me? Because in this case, we are trying to minimize our sum and we'll probably reach the like target sum, okay? So I hope you understood this, that why Raj needs to move towards me, not I have to move towards Raj, correct? So this is the main crux of the problem 
and if our sum would have been less than the target then i would move because now i am trying to maximize the uh, sum so let's try to code this out so as i told you i am i and raj is j so i just store i as 0 because i am on the left okay and raj is on the end of the array so i go and let him stand on the end of the array so this time numbers dot length minus 1 so this is the last index now if the sum of i plus sum of j is greater than the target what i told is that raj will have to move towards me so raj is j right so we'll just so let's give a better name right let's name these left and right correct so now i know that right has to move towards me so right will be right minus one one step ahead okay so one step uh, closer towards me now what if we'll basically end up writing all the conditions okay what if the sum is greater than the target okay so in this case i will have to move okay towards raj so left is equal to left plus one correct else in this case i know that our sum is equal to the target correct so i need to uh, so sum achieved in this okay because either it has to be less greater or equal correct so sum is achieved in this case i just have to return what the two indexes correct what is the two indexes left and right this is it and till when we have to do till v and raj meet correct so left is less than right so till the time i am behind raj correct or this means that me and raj have not met yet till the time i'll just keep running this entire algorithm correct so let's try to submit it and see if there is any edge case left or not so here we go oh wait 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 ah okay let's fix this i and j because we have changed the name to left and right hmm everywhere yeah that's it okay let's see what's the issue okay so actually this problem is just telling you to return uh whatever you have the integer just add one to it okay it's just a demand of this problem so you don't need to worry till your logic is right but it's fine let add one to our answer and i hope it will run this name so yeah and also submit and uh, so this is the way where we have to visualize the problem okay and we have seen like two three variations but uh, there are more okay questions like these you should definitely check uh, the variations that are in lead code and try to solve them so i hope you like the video uh, and please go and practice these problems as i told just watching the video will not help so wait for my next video and bye bye